So coach, is there any other better way to get off a long bus ride than to be able to start getting ready for such a huge game with Central Washington coming up this week? Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a long bus ride, you're right. And that's one of the things and there's no easy way to get to Humboldt. You just gotta bus it straight on through. Uh, one it's just good to get the win and then obviously being in a unique place this week of uh, two top teams in the in the league playing each other. It's exciting. It's a it's a good um, historic day for Azusa Pacific. Uh, I think to be uh, in a league now and to be playing for, for first place, two tied teams, playing for first place late in the season, that's that's a historic day. We're excited for that. And then did you think halfway through your, your second season in the GNAC you'd be playing in a game with stakes as big as this? Well, I, I say just the attitude of our program and our players is that we, while I always understand there's a building process, we also understand that there's a immediate desire to be successful with every day we do. So without getting you know, too, uh, too wordy, I'd say uh, it's just good to be winning right now. It's be good to be in the GNAC and right away getting after it. We thought we were a good fit with the league. Um, we obviously learned a lot last year, with it, and I'd say it's a real credit to our kids and our coaches and the whole organization that um, they're very fast learners, they're hungry, and I think uh, the, we want this to be a consistent thing for us. So it's just part of what we want to be doing as a program. So we're excited to be in this position. Uh, we're grateful for it. We know there's a lot of football left. Uh, we know that <clears throat> this is a big game this week. Uh, one, it's a league game, and uh, but two, it's a chance you know to play uh, Central Washington again, again, the one team that we had uh, lost to this year. So we're excited to be side, outside in our league. So yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And another big game from Trail Watson. He keeps hitting milestones. Uh, what records, achievements, marks over the past few weeks are the most impressive to you? Well, yeah, the wins. Honestly, the most impressive is the fact that he's helping the team win, and he's along with the offensive line. I think, and the you know the quarterbacks and receivers, what they're doing. I think it's collectively a, a great thing. I think where Terrell is obviously a special a special human being uh, as a person and as a football player. There's a strength and a speed about the young man that he's he's obviously dynamic and he's he's able to capitalize on the holes that the offensive line creates. Um, but I'd, I'd say what our quarterback is doing, what our tight ends are doing, what our H-backs are doing, what our receivers are doing. Everybody's contributing to that, and I think where Terrell is just uh, uh, just the exclamation point about uh, an offense that keeps growing every week and getting better. Now, Terrell, what impresses me probably the most is not a statistic, um, and maybe I'm sure, so, or, or excuse me, not one that necessarily somebody always looks at, but it's just the yards after contact. Those are the ones that really impress you the most. It's just uh, it's, he, he'll carry three to four guys and he'll get those extra hard yards, those three to four yards after contact that I think the male man's stronger than he really believes he is and, and he's I think just right now coming to his own of understanding that uh, um, he, there's more yards to be had after, after first contact. So um, that's probably the most impressive thing about him right now for me. And to follow up on that with the offensive line, I mean he came into the year starting a transfer uh, at one tackle, uh, a converted defensive lineman, a, true freshman, a guy moving over to center. Uh, you didn't have a lot of continuity there, but what what have you been most pleased with about how the offensive line has, has come together? Well, I'd say just their week-to-week -week growth, because like you said in the beginning, there was there was a lot of, wow, just newness, just playing college football, lining up. You know, as for the, the offensive line, they're just a real, they're a real fist of five, and, and it takes a while for them to, to learn how to collaborate together and, and really choreograph how they want to play each play. Understanding communication styles, understanding you know, uh, the well, I guess the trust factor to say what's the right tackle see and be able to go down the line and so that they can all be on the same page to the left tackle. So um, you know that's a real compliment to Jackie Slater, our old line coach. He's done a very good job of uh, maturing this group week in and week out. Very good job of of helping them understand the game so it's not beyond them. Um, I think that you know the really. Uh, the collection of, that these guys bring together now, I think I'm seeing the trust level go way up. And I'm also seeing it just, they've seen a lot of football now. They've seen a lot of schemes. They've seen a lot of different ways people want to attack. And now it's, it's not new to them anymore. And that's, um, that's a real credit to where we, I think, achieving these last two weeks. I'm going to talk about your defense. Another strong uh, performance against Humboldt State. Against them, you've allowed one touchdown in the last 10 quarters that you've played them. What are the key developments for your defense's continued improvement not just against Humboldt, but but throughout mm -hmm. the year. Well, I think where we've 
improved defensively is just the, the, the number two guys have really stepped up their game. Um, you know, bumps and bruises, injuries happen to everybody. We've been able to put another player in there, and he's been able to step in uh, without much of a with, a, with much of a, a setback, and so that that speaks a lot to just the focus these these backup guys have been having. Because when your time comes, you got to run with it and go. Um, the other thing I've been really impressed with is just the uh, just the awareness of what other the the other positions have to do. So now you're seeing a group of guys who I think they understand how the whole defense fits together uh, and where their where their particular role fits in um, with each call. So. Um, you know, I think our, our linebacker play has been really good. I think where uh, our safety play has been good. I think our D-line is just finding a way to constantly be fast and fresh, uh, be able to rotate people in. You know, we've been having people try to no huddle us, but it just seems to be something now where the fast tempo is just our guys are used to it now. And so they know how to rotate. They know how to stay fresh. It's something where they're not quite having to rely on the coaches so much. So, um it's, it's been really good to be able to know I can plug another guy in, and he's going to give us a, good, a really good, uh, good go at it. In Central Washington, they're obviously playing very well right now. Yeah. Uh, give us some key points where your team needs to execute this week. Well, I think Central Washington has done an outstanding job of learning to grow their own run game. Um, they're, they're, you could tell uh, they're playing with confidence as an offensive line. They're running the ball well. Their, their running back is doing a good job of being patient. Um, you know, when he gets in space, he can go. Uh, I thought that the quarterback seems to be doing a very good job of managing the game. Um, you know, the thing that you continue to see, we, we obviously witnessed it first time we played them, but their defense is continually to, to be on fire with how they can cover, play a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Their corners do a great job of uh, manning you up and then allowing their safeties to get into the run game. I think their D-line runs well with the motor. Uh, there's, no, there's no mistaking the why they're... You know, tied with us as number one in the league right now. So that's what creates such a great showdown this week. Um, they're they're doing a very good job of playing good football and knowing who they are and just sticking with it and just maturing that part of it. Um, you know, there's there, obviously we got our hands full. They're they're very good and they're they've been growing themselves as much as we have. So it's it's set out to be a pretty good game.